Big Blue Nation. There's some more trading whirlwinds going around the Giants organization. And it's with the New England Patriots. Should we trade for Nikhil Harry? Disappointing first round draft pick of Bill Belichick and the Patriots. Should we trade for him? Tune in and listen to what I have to say. I'm going to let you know. Let's get it. What's going on, Big Blue Nation? What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? It's your boy, Big Pat. Big Pat Sports Talk. You know I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. And today's subject is the trade rumors surrounding Mr. Nikhil Harry. They have us in those whirlwinds because the Patriots want to drop their former first-round receiver. Big guy, 6'4", about 220. It's actually the prototype receiver that we actually need in New York that I actually want for Daniel Jones, man. Um, considering that his production has been absolutely woeful in New England, I'm going to be real with you guys. If we could get this guy for like a third or fourth round pick or a fourth or fifth round pick, I say a fourth or fifth round pick, I say pull the trigger. Reason is... When I look at his when I look at his film, this guy is a 50-50 ball catcher. He comes down with it 90% of the time. Big guy, big physical guy. And I just don't believe the Patriots know how to use him. I don't believe they're using him right. You know they don't you know they normally don't use true outside receivers in New England. Uh, that's never really been their actual game plan they've always worked through the middle through slot receivers and tight ends and I just don't believe they know how to use Nikhil Harry correctly I actually think he could be very decent over here in New York his skill set is what we need in New York and like I said if we could trade a fourth or fifth round pick for him I'm all with it with it pull the trigger pull it He's a former first round pick. I mean, it's, it's high, uh, low risk, high reward. I mean, because after, after this year, you don't have to pick up his option. You can cut him, and he's not going to cost huge against your cap if you do. And I believe it's a uh, low risk, high reward type trade. We get a, a big receiver that, we were gonna, that we're going to be looking for in a draft anyway. And I still would draft Waddle or Smith or Bateman in the first round. And now you have this guy, at the very least, a deaf piece. And, a, and he's a major red zone target, which we do not have in New York, people. We just don't. Evan Ingram doesn't fit the bill. Slayton doesn't fit the bill. Austin Mack doesn't fit the bill. Pettis doesn't fit the bill. Shepard doesn't fit the bill as the outside receiver that we could throw that fade to to where we say, hey, just go up there and get the ball over and pick the ball over the de defender's head. We don't we don't have that here in New York. And if we get a guy like this, he brings that here. I'm just being honest with you. I know I know his stats in New England are not sexy. They, they're absolutely kind of woeful. I believe he has like 50 catches in two years, but his first year he was injured. And I just don't believe they know how to use the guy over in New England. New England just does not use outside receivers unless you're just like a Randy Moss. You have no choice but to use a Randy Moss in his prime. But other than that, name an outside receiver that just dominated for the Patriots. That absolutely dominated for the Patriots. It's, it's, it's not too many. Maybe Deion Branch. Maybe Deion Branch, but other than that, it's always been slot guys. Wes Welker, Elderman, Gronk, Hernandez. It's always been slot guys and tight ends, man. Amendola, Hogan, 
they don't use outside receivers in New England, and that's why I believe this guy is not reaching his full potential because they don't know how to use him correctly. And yes, they're linked to us because of Joe Judge and Bill Belichick. We need a receiver. Joe Judge and Bill Belichick work together. Belichick is trying to get rid of a receiver. Obvious choice for us to be in the rumor mill for Nikhil Harris. And if we could get this guy for a four for a fifth round pick, I'm all with it, man. I'm all with it. It may not be a popular opinion and, and, and you know, Giants Twitter, but, you know, I'm going to talk my tongue no matter what anybody thought. And this will be a heck of a deal because he doesn't bring a huge cap hit. He's a former first round pick. He's a big receiver, 6'4", over 220. And that's what we need, man. We haven't had that here since... Really, uh, Hakeem Nix. Hakeem Nix was a 6'4". He was like 6'1", but he played like he was 6'4". We haven't had that receiver. We could just throw the back shoulder through on third and five. He doesn't have to have the great separation, but if you throw the ball correctly on his back shoulder, he can go up and get that ball, and there's nothing the defender can do about it. We haven't had that here in years, people, and we need that. And I believe this guy has the potential to bring that here. Why not uh, take a flyer out on a four, 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 fifth round pick? I'm quite sure he can't go. No, uh, he can't garner that much back in return. We might be able to get him for a sixth round pick. You never know. We got two of them. Maybe we could use one of those six round picks for him. I would definitely call Bill Belichick and see see what they're asking for for this guy. We need a guy like this on the on the on the team. We need that big body receiver, man. And who knows, this guy can turn out to be one of our outside receivers. And then we draft the receiver in the first round, man. What a receiving core we will have. Or this gives you the flexibility to draft a, a DB, maybe Michael Parsons in the first round, and worry about getting a receiver in the second or the third round now. If this guy turns out to be pretty doggone good, who knows? Dave Gellman, Joe Judge, make the call. Let's see what Bill Belichick is talking about. Let's see what he wants in return and in compensation for Nikhil Harry. Let's make the call, man. It doesn't hurt. Now, if I, they're asking for like a third third round pick, no. But I, I'll probably be willing to give up a four for a fifth round pick. And we may be able to get him for a sixth. Who knows? There's nothing wrong with taking a flyer on a former first round pick, 6'4", over 220. I can't tell you that enough, man. That's what we need here in New York. We need to get Daniel Jones his actual security blanket because it's not Evan Ingram. Daniel Jones has no security blanket. And that's what hurts when a young quarterback doesn't have a security blanket. It hurts. So, man, that was my take on the trade rumors about Nikhil Harry, former first-round receiver for the New England Patriots, is on a trade block. Hey, I say, hey, let's take a flyer on him. If we could get him for a fifth, fourth or fifth-round pick, maybe even a sixth, let's take a flyer on him, man. It won't hurt. And, but until the next episode, this has been Big Pass Sports Talk. You know, I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. Peace.